Welcome back to the Tonight Show. My next guest with us now is Isabel. Isabel from Willow, Oregon. Uh, it's raining cupcakes. Isabel, welcome to the show. And uh, how Hi. old are you? I'm 13. Very nice to meet you. 13 years old. Very nice. Um, so why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, the cupcake show? How did you come up with the idea? Well, for this cupcake shop. Well, actually, it was my mom's idea. It was my sixth mm -hmm. birthday, and since I was having a few girls over, my mom thought it made more sense to bake a cake, a, a cupcakes instead of a big cake. Mm -hmm. um, baking cupcakes made her feel so happy, and she made them all the time. Yeah, baking cupcakes make you feel happy, Ed? That's right, I bet they do. <laughs> um, a few years later, my mom said she wanted to open a cute little cupcake shop, and so she bought the old laundromat mm -hmm. down the street, and... She, she okay. bought the apartment with that, it. That's great. I'd rather, much rather have an old, an old cupcake shop than an old laundry <laughs> shop. But <laughs> <laughs> now you got to start doing it in a cupcake shop in the neighborhood. Okay, well, uh, why don't you tell us about the challenges that you faced when you were trying to open up this cupcake shop? Because being an entrepreneur, especially at your age, and you know, being a woman in this country, it's, it's difficult. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? What kind of challenges did you face? Um, well, I didn't think the shop would ever open, so I kept telling my mom things to make her not want to open it. Um, so, and I was trying to enter a baking contest mm -hmm. while this was all happening, so that was hard because I didn't want to bake cupcakes, and my mom wanted me to. Be I didn't want to bake them, though, because it would sound like my mom helped me with it because we have the cupcake shop. Well, that's uh, very independent of you. you. Want to do it yourself? I like that. Very good entrepreneurial spirit, right, Ed? Um, so we also had a Beatrice's Brownie shop opening right down the street, and it's a big chain, and it only mm -hmm. comes to the big city, so we had some competition. Wow, big competition! That sounds like a good start. A lot of, a lot of challenges at least yes. Uh, you mentioned a baking contest. Want to tell us a little bit about the baking contest and how that sort of plays into this uh, this entrepreneurial story of yours? Sure. The contest is for kids ages 11 to 14, and you have to submit your own recipe that you made mm -hmm. up. Um, I wanted to come up with a recipe for jam tarts, so I did chocolate jam tarts. But I knew my mom wanted me to bake cupcakes, so I threw them away. Well, threw, threw them away, Ed. Threw away the cupcakes. Ed is not happy. <laughs> Um, but then I didn't know that my mom had seen the recipe on the counter, and she entered them in the baking contest, and I didn't even know. So, so. You, you didn't even know that she had sent this recipe oh, in? No. No, that's an interesting, interesting end. So, one day I got a call saying I was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> one day... <laughs> Have you, have, you, have you been on TV before? Have you ever been on TV before? Relax. No, I haven't. And you've been on TV before? <laughs> it's a little nervous, too. <laughs> okay. okay, go on. Um, Tell us. So one day I got a call saying I was going to be flown into New York. And I was when I was sitting in a cupcake shop eating some cupcakes in New York, um, my mom told me that I was going to be entering jam tarts in the contest because... Mm -hmm. I was talking about my s'mores cupcakes, and she forgot that she hadn't told me about the jam tarts. Well, jam tarts. I like the sound of jam tarts. Do you like jam tarts? Jam tarts are very good. Can you get some jam tarts in there? Do you have any? Do you have a sample? No? No sample? Guess you're going to have to get your own jam tarts later, right? So, uh, do you think you'll ever take over the cupcake shop, Isabel? Um, I think it's raining cupcakes. I would keep it going, because it's, it's a good shop, and I want it to be something when you come to Little Oregon that you have to go to, because I want it to have some history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys were faced with a big chain. Do you think you got to ever open up any more training cupcakes? You know, maybe, um, maybe try to make a chain out of those? I'm not really sure. Maybe someday in the future, if the shop becomes more popular. That sounds great. That sounds great. So, uh, so tell us, what is your favorite cupcake? Well, I think my favorite cupcake would have to be s'mores cupcakes. S'mores cup you like s'mores cupcakes, Ed? Ed? Ed likes any cupcake. <laughs> um, because <laughs> um, s'mores cupcakes is something I entered in the contest, so it obviously tastes good. Or I also think maybe strawberry lemonade cupcakes because they're really cute and they taste delicious. Mm -hmm. That sounds delicious. They're, we, we got any, they're very we have, ducky. Do we have any... <laughs> Any cupcakes back there? Ducky. What does what what does ducky mean? Um, ducky? good, great. Ducky, it's not cool anymore. Ed, Ed, you're very ducky. Right? <laughs> so 
uh, who, who comes up with the ideas for the cupcakes? These, these sound like some pretty uh, crazy, wild ideas for cupcakes. Um, we all sort of help come up with the ideas. When an idea pops into our brain, we, we ask my mom to make it, and she makes it. And if it tastes good, she puts it up for sale. Mm -hmm. um, normally, my mom and I come up with the cupcake ideas, but sometimes my friend Sophie, my grandma, my grandma and my dad help. Well, that sounds uh, great. It's like a group group effort there for you guys to come up with the ideas, a lot of input there. So, uh, so you, you said you'd gone to New York for this contest, so what did it finally feel like to be in New York? Have you ever been to New York? No. Um, I just couldn't believe that I was finally there. It was my first time there. Um, it was so ducky. I really it didn't... Ducky again. Very, it was very cool. <laughs> you know, I, I really didn't think... So it was Burbank. Burbank. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd ever get this far. I just think I should thank my mom for entering the jam charts because if she didn't, I would have never got here. So, thanks, mom. That's it. Thank you very much, mom. Uh, I just want to ask you a couple more questions here. I think we're running. How are we doing on time here? We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta cut this sponsor soon. Okay, so we're a couple more questions. So, uh, how did you come up with the jam tart recipe anyway? Um. Well, my neighbor Stan. This winning recipe. My neighbor Stan. He had. Um, he owns a barber shop next door, and he went on vacation to England. England, across the pond. <laughs> when Stan came back, he brought me a box of jam tarts, and they just tasted delicious, so I had to bake some. Well, that, they sound delicious. I wish you'd brought some. And uh, so, what can we expect from its raining cupcakes in the future? What, what are your future plans for this? Uh, well, all I can tell you is expect a lot more cupcakes, and for the rest, you'll just have to wait and see. Well, that sounds, that sounds wonderful. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, and hopefully, the raining cupcakes are coming by us, right, Ed? Look, I could use a few there. Maybe you had some. But, uh, Isabel, thank you very much for coming to The Tonight Show. I want to thank you very much. You've been a You're great guest. Welcome. And uh, you can come back soon, anytime you like, with some cupcakes, sure. some jam tarts. And uh, we're going to go to a commercial break right now. Uh, coming up next is a duet special with uh, Brad Pitt and Snoop Doggy Dog doing uh, their latest hit, uh, Brangeline and the Get Her.